The story of this film begins with Brian renting a villa in Italy for a week. On their way to the villa, Cassie and Brian compare different facilities and options of the villa and eagerly anticipate their arrival. The villa is located in a pristine location. However, the driver mistakenly stops at the wrong destination, causing their dreams of the rented house's amenities to be shattered. Fortunately, they discover the actual destination elsewhere and continue their journey. Upon arriving at the house, they are mesmerized by its beauty and enthusiastically explore every corner. The homeowner, Eduardo, has provided them with a welcoming drink. He wants them to enjoy all the villa's amenities without restrictions and savor their privacy for a memorable trip. They can contact him if they need anything, as he lives in a city nearby. Cassie takes a shower while Brian prepares music and drinks. She is thrilled to be in this place with her beloved boyfriend. The tranquility of the location is incredibly soothing. Cassie asks Brian to put work aside during their stay and enjoy their shared journey. Brian accepts Cassie's idea and puts their mobile phones in the drawer upstairs. He notices a call from someone named Justin, which greatly irritates Brian. He controls himself and joins Cassie so an argument won't ruin their evening. Brian is unable to connect with Cassie because he lacks sufficient focus. Apparently, something has consumed Brian's thoughts entirely. He approaches Cassie and tells her that their purpose in coming on this trip is to resolve their issues, and they should try to set aside their differences. Brian has taken three Viagra pills, but it's too late, and Cassie is not in the mood. Brian's attempt has backfired, and now he is suffering from a painful erection. Brian cannot sleep due to the pain, and he goes to the music player upon hearing a noise, turning it off. Finally, he finds relief by ending his pain using one of the homeowner's books containing explicit pictures. The entire house is under surveillance by cameras. Later, we discover that the homeowner's concept of privacy includes being monitored by over 30 cameras throughout the house. The next day, Cassie finds Brian's lifeless body after last night's digging operation. She prepares breakfast for him and goes out for a run. She distances herself from the house. Cassie also endures a similar ordeal and recalls the memories of their intense argument on the night of the incident. Lost in her thoughts, she suddenly gets hurt and is forced to seek help near the road. Brian is waiting for Cassie to return home. A car stops to help Cassie, who is injured and fearful because the stranger seems suspicious. Cassie becomes entranced by the beauty of Federico while he attempts to tend to her injured foot. He tries to help Cassie, and she immediately accepts. Brian looks at his engagement ring among his belongings. Apparently, he intends to marry Cassie. They pass by Federico's house, which is on the way to the villa. Cassie tries to invite him inside, but Federico refuses and wants to return home. Shortly after, he accepts Cassie's invitation and joins her for a coffee as a gesture of gratitude. Brian hears a strange sound. He goes towards them, and Cassie explains that Federico has helped him, and their neighbor is in the upper street. Federico suggests taking them to the nearest town market, but Brian refuses and prefers to take a taxi. Cassie asks Brian to set aside his pessimism and accept Federico's help. While Cassie is taking a shower, Brian opens and closes his engagement ring, but his thoughts prevent him from proposing to Cassie. He waits for the right moment to propose to Cassie. The images of her past betrayal don't leave Brian's mind and prevent them from reconnecting on this trip. Cassie becomes frustrated as Federico observes their interactions and realizes their rift. They accompany Federico. On the way, they explain to Federico how they met each other. They met through a matchmaking program and initially had a dreamy relationship, but recently they have encountered difficulties. These problems have prevented them from getting married and Federico perceives the emotional gap between them. Brian warns Cassie about Federico and knows he has a crush on her and is trying to win Cassie over. An argument ensues between them, and we learn that Cassie betrayed Brian while intoxicated in the past. Now the images of this incident haunt Brian's thoughts, and he continues to suffer because the person he loves has betrayed him. After that incident, Cassie never responds to Justin's proposal because she considers it a fling and confesses that she loves Brian, but he can no longer look at Cassie the same way. The reason for their trip was to solve this problem, but the circumstances still need to improve. Now the distance between them is growing, and Federico, like a hungry wolf, is after winning Cassie over. She needs cash to return home, and Federico helps her obtain the money. Wherever Cassie needs help, he appears and acts like a kind wolf. Cassie shows him the green light and heads toward the taxi. Brian drinks to calm himself down. Federico appears and joins him to have a drink together. While Cassie is at home crying due to their recent argument, Brian reveals everything to Federico in his intoxicated state. He attended their company's Christmas party and saw his girlfriend get heavily drunk after a severe argument between them, and afterward, she slept with one of his colleagues. She regrets it, but the images of this incident have deeply impacted Brian, 
and whenever he sees Cassie's face, these images replay in his mind. As a result, he can't continue with his work. Federico introduces two of his friends to Brian and tries to make them acquainted, but he is not interested in that. After consuming the drink, Cassie becomes concerned about Brian, but he won't respond. Apparently, Federico and his companions have poisoned Brian. He confesses he has the key to their house, but Brian won't remember this fact tomorrow because he's completely losing consciousness. Federico goes to their villa. Drunk Cassie falls asleep, and Federico caresses her. Cassie thinks Brian has returned home, but Federico is very interested in Cassie. The next day, Brian wakes up in an unfamiliar room and can't find his phone. He goes downstairs to search for his phone but finds no one there. Images from last night flash through his mind, and he decides to return home without his phone. Cassie is upset about last night because Brian didn't answer her calls, but Brian explains that he lost his phone. He refers to his absence last night as giving space to Cassie, so she won't ask him more questions about what happened. While taking a shower, he notices bruises on his body from last night and becomes suspicious of Federico, thinking he planned to embarrass him. He questions Cassie about Federico's presence at their home last night. Cassie is upset by Brian's lack of trust in her because he believes she would have a relationship with anyone other than him during his absence. She hasn't seen anything good in Federico and considers Brian suspicious. He avoids continuing the conversation and describing the events of last night and leaves the house to escape talking to Cassie. Federico, on the other hand, watches Cassie as she changes her clothes. Brian goes towards Federico's house to talk to him, asking him to stay away from them. But apparently, no one is there. He enters their villa aimlessly and makes a rabbit hunting dish to improve Cassie's mood. Brian enters the house and realizes it's an empty house. He immediately returns to the villa to warn Cassie. He helps Cassie prepare dinner. Brian asks what he is doing here, and Cassie explains that he came to their home to prepare dinner. He provides Brian with approximate information about last night, which worries Brian because he doesn't want Cassie to know about those events. He confronts Federico and asks him to leave their house immediately. Federico threatens Brian that he will tell Cassie about his betrayal. This causes Brian to back off because he doesn't want Cassie to know about it and is forced to tolerate Federico until the end of dinner. While having dinner, they threaten each other with innuendos. Brian threatens Federico by using a false story about the location of his house, and Federico threatens Brian by revealing hidden memories from last night. Cassie is completely confused, and Brian is angry that he has to tolerate Federico. After dinner, Brian threatens to call the police and demands that Federico immediately leave the villa and never return. After some resistance, Federico finally leaves the villa. Cassie is happy about Federico being kicked out and ultimately agrees with Brian that he is a completely suspicious person. He wants to report this suspicious person's presence to the house owner, Eduardo. Federico returns to his room and listens to their conversation. Brian explains the situation to Eduardo regarding the suspicious person around their villa and asks him to help investigate the issue. Federico watches them with anger because Brian has threatened to expose his betrayal. Brian explains last night's incident to Cassie and promises that nothing happened between him and those girls and that they just took him to a hotel. Federico listens to their conversation. Cassie confesses that she doesn't love anyone except Brian and wants them to forget everything and have a deep romantic relationship like before. Brian also wants the same and is trying to forget all the past events because he is also in love with Cassie. Cassie asks Brian to go to the beverage storage for wine and meet her in their shared bedroom in 10 minutes to discuss their issues in bed. As Brian chooses a bottle, the entrance door closes, and he gets trapped inside. After getting ready, Cassie notices a note instructing her to wear a specific outfit and wait for him with closed eyes. Brian remains trapped, wondering who wrote the note. He realizes there's space behind the wine shelves. Moving the shelves, he enters a hidden door through a tunnel. Cassie announces her readiness with closed eyes. Federico puts on Brian's cologne and then focuses on keeping Cassie unsuspecting. Brian reaches the back room through the tunnels and tries to enter the house from there. Federico hears a noise and leaves his task incomplete. Exiting the room, Brian comes face to face with images of Cassie. She finds his phone and discovers videos of his infidelity with unknown girls. Brian witnesses Federico taking advantage of Cassie and becomes consumed by anger. Federico has played both of them to destroy their relationship. Both Cassie and Brian feel deceived, and they argue with each other. They realize they have both been tricked, but after Cassie breaks a mirror during the argument, they discover surveillance cameras installed throughout the entire house, realizing they have outsmarted Federico's plan. Federico is terrified by his plan being exposed since his control has slipped. Brian explains the events to Cassie, and she understands Federico poisoned him to capture the incriminating footage. They both realize that Federico orchestrated everything to ruin their relationship. 
Brian tries to contact the police, but the call gets disconnected after a few seconds by Federico. They want to go to the bedroom to use Brian's mobile phone to call the police, but Federico appears with a knife, intending to stop them. He confesses that he has always been watching, but he falls in love with Cassie this time. Brian tries to dissuade him from preventing anyone from getting hurt, but it's too late for Federico's perspective. Brian confronts him, and during their struggle, Cassie takes advantage and kills him with a stick while their actions are being recorded. She is completely shocked, but she has saved her and Brian's lives. Brian holds her to calm her down. Meanwhile, the villa's doorbell rings, and they quickly attempt to hide Federico's body and weapons. They are both terrified. Brian decides not to open the door. Eduardo enters through a side door and searches for them. He received Brian's message and came to check on them and ensure their well-being. Eduardo wants to inspect the house to make sure everything is in order. Brian talks to Cassie, explaining their current situation. They are in a foreign country with a dead body, and if Eduardo finds out, they won't have a chance to escape the situation. Brian explains his plan to Cassie and asks her to remain calm. Eduardo enters the spy room and confronts Cassie about what they did to Federico. Before being attacked by Brian, he reads his hand, threatening him with his gun. At the last moment, Cassie prevents Brian from being killed, and they overpower Eduardo. Brian delivers the final shot to Eduardo, saving them from these two deviant individuals. They clean up the crime scene, and Brian goes to Federico's room, where he finds more videos of the other tenants. Brian sets fire to all the videos and Federico's hard drive, destroying all evidence. Afterward, they get rid of the corpses and bury them. Brian reassures Cassie that all evidence has been destroyed and their lives are safe. Finally, their problem is resolved, and they can connect, knowing what they are willing to do to protect each other. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification, so you can watch more videos like this.